Hello everyone, Duke here with part two of this Austria campaign, uh, Napoleon Total War. And we are only just beginning this, I'm sure to be epic campaign, uh, with a victory in Bavaria, which have now turned into our protectorate, which I'm extremely pleased about because that's secured uh, one of the main routes for France uh, into Austria, hopefully, uh, at least for now. And now hopefully start building up an army and keep themselves secure and them keeping themselves secure keeps me secure which is more important so let's I've, i'm still ooing and ahhing about what i'm going to do about Württemberg, but i am really tempted to go after it and liberate it the only thing is that it means we will have less men to play with down here in italy but and um, what are we going to do about italy well first of all we have a spy here who i've just noticed but, so these guys can assassinate that's probably their best thing in this game and we could have him take a chance at murdering Messina. It's not the most nice thing to do, uh, especially against an actual marshal of France. Which I think he is. Oh, no, we can't see. He's not yeah, nearby. Not. But if we murdered him, that would actually make this army a lot easier to fight because he will have significant morale benefits for his units. France are already going to get, like, insane morale and, uh, you know, fighting benefits just by virtue of being fired. It's going to be hell when we fire them. Uh, I'm quite happy to put them off as long as possible. Uh, I really don't care what happens to the spy. You get more in this game. So I'm going to have a little go at murdering Messina. Not the most uh, gentlemanly thing uh, I've ever done on this channel. But one in three chance. Can't really tell. In fact, slightly better than one in three chance. Ah, uh, he got detected, but he's not dead, so he would have another go later. Let's have a little look at Italy. Italy is looking quite secure, I must say. I think they get a very similar roster to France. So, they won't be going as easy as Bavaria didn't. They didn't go easily at all. So, we might actually need to bring this army south. That's fine. It's. I just want it, because th th this army will not be recruiting. It takes about two turns for recruiting between this game. Yeah. Uh, one for militia. So the only thing they can recruit now is militia. They will have a lot of um, mob, but even less actual units than Bavaria had. So if we could liberate them, and it will give us units, and then we can run south and rejoin the fight here. And it will give them even less of a route <laughs> through here and bring more of Germany back under Austrian influence again. Uh, Diplomacy-wise, I think we're doing okay. Our actions against Bavaria... Um, while not making us popular with Bavaria, uh, does make us popular with most of Europe. The Ottomans have calmed down a bit. They're quite neutral towards us now, but I still reckon they're going to come after us. You watch. So I'm going to empty all this into... Yeah, I might bring Johann von Osterweich down to reinforce that front. And when he gets here, we'll combine. Actually, well, I think we've better thing to do. We've got some really good units all around here. And I don't know what they have as units, but what we can do is try and make an army in the meantime here that, you know, should walk on along this front. Even without this army being here at present, we'll have something to fight with. And now we've got 1,640 to play with. And so many places to upgrade. It's ridiculous. That's going to be in trouble if it gets attacked. But not much we can do about that right now. Uh, what's in here? Ooh, nice units in here as well. We could send these guys... Oh, this army moves slowly because it has cannons in it. But these are good units, and I think they're kind of wasted on this border here because it's quite secure. I would be very surprised if Justin declared war on us, quite frankly. So... I think it makes sense to send them, with, send them this way. Um... I feel like Messina is going to come after us. I don't think that's a far-fetched idea. 
first lynch deal. Uh, you still can't actually see what he has. He's clearly got very good counterintelligence in his army. He's got five units to our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take off the general, it's his four to our six. We have a cannon, he almost certainly has a cannon too. So we have some infantry to his infantry. Oh, what do we do? Do we try? Oh, we have these guys. They could support. Oh, let's try it. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll save the game as episode two. Oh, no, not 12. Episode two. Combine these guys. Venice is still happy. We like that. And... Oh, wouldn't you know it? We're just out of range. Okay, I've got an idea. Man, so cunning, you could brush your teeth with it. And we're going to move this up. Yeah, it was a cannon slowing us down. No, it's not going to work, is it? We're too far away. I don't, we don't need it anymore. Okay, okay, fine. So that's not quite... That was sort of a test. I'm still figuring out the mechanics of this game, getting readjusted to them. So my plan was to kind of hit him with an overwhelming force and win. But he did the right thing and move back. So let's get... We should stay will definitely combine this army. We could try is try setting an ambush. Um, you could do it anywhere. You just have to be... Because otherwise he, he might take a... If he makes a beeline for Venice, he'll take it. No doubt. That militia on populist army will not be. Uh, what we can do is move near him, and I think if he then moves, we can intercept. Don't know if they got any other armies nearby. The nearest one they have is in Torino. I, I can't remember where the starting positions are for all the French marshals. I, I really can't remember. Uh, how annoying that we can't quite reach a center this time. What we can do is... It's either going to go for Innsbruck. Yeah, my lord. Um, or Venice. If he takes Venice, he'll win. So I can't risk that. Yes, sir. But if we go this way, armies have some areas of, uh, I don't know if you call them influence or whatever, but this yellow, you can't pass through an enemy army zone without getting intercepted. So, if we move this army up here, we'd easily cover the road to Venice and he wouldn't get through us. Unless he can go this way, but then there's no road, so he should be... Let's try it. Okay. Figuring out um, how everything works. Right, so, saying he can still reach us, but I don't know if that means because he's going through here. If he's going round, that's a long march. A very long watch. Tells me actually he hasn't got any cannons. Yes, sir. Um, I'm sorry, I did that. Oh, he has got a cannon. How is he? Yeah, oh, he's withdrawn. So that's actually kept Venice and Innsbruck fairly safe. So if we. Yeah. There we go. So we've pushed him back. He's not threatening either town this turn. Good. Uh, we need to upgrade something somewhere. We've got money. But no plan. <laughs> uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do I do? Um, we can build one building this turn, basically. And next turn we'll have enough money to put another. It's going to be very slow progress on that front. This will let us get Jaegers and Newlands, which are very good cavalry. I think I'd, I'd mostly like to have Ulands in the army, so do we have Ulands at the moment? We have one. At the same time, getting money up is so important. We're so poor right now. Not everywhere is secure. I guess one thing is, who's our, what's our richest region? Oh, look, 40. 
No, four million, isn't it? Four million exactly in Venice. <laughs> right down to the last man. What's our valuable? Well, Austria, yeah, obviously. Then Bohemia. We could upgrade the magistrate there. It gives us a bit of money. Yeah. Because right now, how, attack, how it works in this game, this area makes 2,454 income a turn. But we, that's not our income. We have to tax that, and that gives us money. We get a 5% bonus of region tax rate. That would increase it by 10%. So we get another 5%. Which is about another 125 a turn? No, not that much. What is that? 2,500, roughly 5% is 50. So, no, that's not right. I can't, I can't do maths. Uh, whatever. It won't be much. But... Every little helps right now. Or we could upgrade a farm. An old farm or two here and there. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll get a magistrate in there. And this army, we can start it marching south. I think, yeah, yeah, that's right. We're going to march on Wurttemberg. I think we're going to do that. I think it's too tempting a target. Take that, liberate it. Takes another ally of France's side. And gives us a buffer. Then we're going to have to think about what we're going to do on this side. The only thing is, I think if Ottomans declare war on us, Russia will almost certainly join us. And then they'll really be in trouble. So. Yeah, the Ottomans very rarely do well in this game. Because they're, they're so small. They don't have their main empire over here. But what we what we good is to have, yeah, getting these trade nodes would be fantastic. Actually, we probably yeah, I should I should try doing that now. Um, that of course is the best way to make money. So let's try getting one. Let's do a merchantman. So what you can do is you send a merchantman onto these here trade posts, and that sends you valuable resources back and gives you an income bonus. Trade is king in this game. And an empire and how to make money. That's the best way to do it. Uh, so that might be an idea. So we can do one there. And then we can try one here. Why not? Uh, yeah, that's the plan, Stanley. Right, is there any more diplomacy to do? No. We try alliances, I suppose. Um, who are we friendly with? Prussia. Hey, we got it. Straight up, just like that. Just like that. So we now have an ally with Prussia. Good. That might make people more loath to attack us. Denmark. I don't think they really like France very much. Saxony would be good to get an alliance with. I should probably have tried and made pay Prussia pay for that alliance, but... It's neither here nor there. Uh, that's an alliance. Yeah, cool. And Denmark and Mecklenburg. Portugal, Portugal would be one good one time. Fine. Mecklenburg. Maybe not in case Prussia tries to attack them. Uh. Denmark. Yeah, I think we should try. Okay, how about just an alliance? No. Nope. How about Naples? Oh, we already are. Um, Sardinia. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, fine. I think that's the best we're going to get. Okay, uh, we are not flush with cash right now, to put it mildly. But I don't think we've even got any navy whatsoever. If we do, I'd probably try and get rid of it. No, we don't. Okay. 
Yeah, it's quite a lean time to be an Austrian, but that's that. Hopefully we'll go through a turn without war with Ottomans, so that'll give us more time to get ready. And then if we can get Baden-Württemberg liberated nice and quick, and maybe even push to do Switzerland, that would be good. Because they can't, while these armies are here in these regions that we liberate, unless they declare war and France can't hit us in retaliation. So, I don't think we can move through. We shouldn't be able to. No, I don't think you can. I don't think you can move through regions you don't own or have a treaty with. We'll see. Right. Um, oh, look at that. We're in the lead of prestige. Let it be known that we had a stonking lead at this point. All right, and we are researching conscription. Right, okay. I think that's the best thing to do. Let's go. Oh, my days. Right, okay. They've... Sub What's just happened? Um, Bavaria's just fallen to the French. How has that happened? Is that a scripted event? I think that was mentioned as a scripted event, but I just hoped it wouldn't be true. That's worrying. Um, that was quick. All right, Russia's around. That's good. Oh, hopefully we can turn around and just liberate it again. My right, Ottoman is not at war with us yet. Hooray! Ah, uh, too late. All right, everyone joined us. All right, yeah, Confederation, fine. All right, although nominally independent states, German lands along the eastern banks of the River Rhine are but mere pawns of the so-called Republic of France. Their lords bend the knee to the Grand Emperor and kiss his boots like any other of his lackeys. There is no time for diplomatic bean counting. In this great war, you must stand either with us or against us, and they have chosen. We must, in all aspects, regard these territories. We have two, right? They've got the French flag. Oh, that's scary. There's Napoleon in all his splendor. Oh, well, this was a grave error. And there goes Messina. And we can catch up to him, which is quite good. Or we could really push our luck and try and take Italy, but that's just not going to happen, frankly. That just isn't. That's too strong. So, yeah, we're making less money because we're no longer trading with the Ottomans. They didn't get any winter attrition. Okay, not allocate. That route doesn't have any. That's, that's the way it goes. All right, looks like we're turning around to try and liberate Bavaria again. Let's hope this works. I think that's the first thing to do. Hopefully they don't have any cannons, though. Because there's no cannon in there. No cannon building, anyway. Nope, they don't have any cannons. That's helpful. They do have extremely strong line of tree. And even their armed citizenry have extremely good morale. Better than ours. Yeah, that's not going to be an easy fight. I wonder if we should move up and try and take... Can we reach them? Okay, I'll quick save to see if we can reach them. Because it would be good to take the Sena out. <laughs> we just took some attrition, baby. Um. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's move up closer so we are within protecting distance of it. And, yeah, let's, I think we, yeah, we need to take, we need to liberate Bavaria, because otherwise these guys can just march on through. We know that baden württemberg then was not going to happen, uh, so there's no missed opportunity there. Fate had other plans. That's Davu, arguably no, Napoleon's greatest marshal. That's Napoleon himself, the great thief of Europe. Um, oh, I've got to have a shot at trying to kill their general. Try. Let's try again. Um, keep moving this army down as well. Keep coming. Keep going that way. I think they're mustering an army against Transylvania. Not an awful lot we can do about that. 
And hopefully, Russia will ride to our rescue. I did see a Russian army here. Yep, yeah. uh, Kutasov is coming. Good. Good man. Right. Uh, let's try and get Bavaria back again. It would give us more units, at least, if we win. And we do have the artillery advantage and the numbers advantage. No, we don't. We do not have the numbers advantage. All right, let's try. <laughs> I think they're not having artillery will be quite helpful though. There'll be no immediate pressure to like press forward. Mostly flat land. It's not the same battle map as last time. Not complaining. That wasn't my favourite map in the world. Put our cannons on a slope. And if these guys sort of spread along this way, I think. Maybe between this. That there, rock. And... Some energy on this side. And put some Jaegers here. I might put some Jaegers behind the cannons for now. Cavalry. Ugh. They have Chasseurs de Cheval. Which are, in many ways, the best one of the best units in the entire game. They're just so good. They're good at everything. They can shoot accurately, reload really quickly, ride really fast. Absolutely fantastic melee capabilities. They're a nightmare to fight. Truly a nightmare. And it's our displeasure to have to face two of them today. I don't think there's too much more to do here. Let's start firing. Let's so immediately start firing on their cavalry, actually. Try and get a few easy kills there. I'm hoping they don't actually come on too quickly. I'm hoping that they stay still for a while. We might have a chance to. Um, we can put their best infantry right on the flank. Give anything for a few more units of cannon right now. Oh, come on, guys. Not a single hit yet. Like, one kill. Again, that's about as good as you can hope for in this game. They are pressing on. I don't really want them to. I want them to sort of stay still for a while. Oh, that, that was good. Yeah, the enemy will have... The French units will have fantastic morale. So... They won't break until the very end. That's what makes them so strong. Oh, good shot. We see that they're not... Their green bar hasn't gone down at all. That little green bar, or orange or black, or oh, red, sorry, is uh, morale. But they are not at all affected at the moment. Cavalry makes the best cut targets at long ranges. Especially when they're standing long ways like that. Right, I think we need to start turning to canister fairly soon. Nice, a few early kills on them. Right, let's run away. The chasseurs are coming. They see us and they don't like us. All right, let's form a squad over here. Looks like the Chasseurs and Cheval are trying to flank us. So us. But the thing is, yeah, they've we formed a square, but they could just stand there and shoot us now. It's not good for us. 
Right, not looking good so far. Under heavy assault now. Right, looks like they're going for the general. Let's try and take up the cavalry now. Right. Um, Alright, that's more tempting target. They're sort of firing that to the group there. Yeah, starting to get a bit shaky now on this flank. I think a break is very likely soon. Same on this unit here. Let's get this. Yeah, the chasseurs have done well. It was complete havoc behind our lines. Managed to smash into the We caught them, but the chasseurs just are so adept. Even if they're in combat, they can still run around and stuff. It's one of their abilities. So, and it's completely killed the Leger unit as well. But we have to, even if it costs like three units to take out the Chasseurs and Cheval unit, it's worth it. Because they will win the camp battle single-handedly for them otherwise. Right, let's get the Lancers out. Don't think they can do much more now. Right, let's keep firing support this uh, unit. Okay, excellent. Chasseurs are off. Good, these guys are off. I went better than I expected. All right, let's try and get these guys in the rear now. Yeah, we're taking some horrendous losses here. We're not even up against their normal line of tree units or anything. All right. I think the best thing to do is some gate. Oh, what's that X for? Can't, can't seem to move. All right, that's a bit annoying. I was the edge of the map, that's why. All right, canister is everything right now, so let's keep firing it into their men. Ooh, unlucky. There you go, they reached us. Alright, what we'll do, start firing into them now. Get the infantry, get the... Alright, I'm going to start getting these guys ready to, yeah, charge into their rear now. This isn't working. <laughs> I didn't realise it was the edge of the map. It's a bit annoying. That's it. Really trying to do some damage. Alright, the Chasseurs have seen our cavalry coming, but I'm going to try and ignore them. Oh no, let's try killing. Then we need to try and take out this unit of armed citizenry. That is a wrecking short work of our grenadiers. Right, got the enemy general, that's quite handy. How is our generals doing? They're not in danger, are they? No, let's bring them up to give some morale bonuses. Right. That went better than I expected against this Chasseur's unit. Quite happy. Uh, I'm going to turn this unit around to sort of fire that way now. Because at the moment, we're sort of firing into our own men. Excellent, we've got that unit off. Not like that. And uh, let's now free that unit up. Let's bring them over here. Let's get the cannons back on the cannons. Oh, these guys are breaking. This is going very well. This is going so good. Okay, I'm really happy. I really didn't think this battle was going to go this well. And the best thing is, this is a town battle, so we don't have to chase them down or anything. If we can get everything to flee now, this might be the end of the battle. Come on, press. Just press a little bit more, guys. One more unit, and I think we've won. And then we're going to pull back to Italy. Or Austria. Either way. Whatever has nicer weather. Yes, that's it. I think as soon as, soon as every unit flees, that's it. That nothing comes back. I think we took quite a bit of friendly fire there, but... Yeah, end the battle. That was intense. That was a lot faster than the first battle we did. All right, yeah, we lost a lot of men there, but we took out uh, General Molyneux and his Bavarian army. And we're going to liberate again. Now, hopefully, they'll like us this time for doing that. Not really. All right, let's get a trade agreement. Maybe have some money for it. <laughs> You're new to this diplomacy game, aren't you?
Oh. I don't know what that noise is. Get rid of it. Alright. Press trade agreement. So yeah, I'll give you fire. I'll give you fire in advance. No, national debt. If you give me a trade agreement. Yep. Good. Nice. I don't want to pay money. Money is very precious to me right now. Yeah, my lord. Alright, they're giving us a militia unit. Not crazy about it. Oh look, Messina has now withdrawn to that side of Bavaria. That's actually very helpful. That keeps Italy very secure for us. That's going rid of the army in France. Now let's just hope. Oh, what is that sound? Why does it do that? Um, Bavaria is not at war with the French. And I hope they stay that way for a while. I don't need them to join a war or anything like that. What I would like here is a supply post, but I don't think there is one. What could we use a militia for? Not an awful lot. I think I might disband it. Because it's just upkeep at this point. But we did get a free line unit. I think if we get back to Venice, we will... Uh, attrition, attrition, attrition. Move. There's no way around it either. I think February is when the winter stops. Okay, we are not marching on Württemberg anytime soon, that's for sure. Fairy has risen again from the ashes. <laughs> yeah, it does open up Milan a little bit. I think we do need to move south. There's no point going around the long way. Um, Hull von Ostweig Tessen got good army. If you can get people heading this way, Milan isn't too well defended. It's just a shame about the winter attrition. If we could march south right now, I'd make a beeline for northern Italy and try and liberate that. And I'd probably try and liberate Torino and give it to, it to, give it to the Italians. But I don't think that's uh, what fate has in store right now. We could risk the attrition, but it's too much. We could put them in the, we could put them in the town. Can they be sure? Yeah, if we put them in the town, then they'd be able to camp there. They take a bit of attrition getting in, but then they'd be fine. Let's try it. Yeah, it's not too bad. They're getting fast punishment. I'll take that. And then these two will march down south together when they're ready and can try and take Milan. We'll see. The plans will have to change if, you know, they just get a lot more stuff, but uh, in the meantime, what are we going to build up? Oh, building a, a new mine might be quite good. A mine. Maybe a theatre here. So here, I think, if we assume... This makes cavalry and infantry, and then here makes cannons. And it's it's not really on the front line in the same regard as the others. I think I'm, I should probably try and make this a theatre. Uh, it gives more town wealth in the region. But let's see if there's any more efficient use. Ooh, what got here? Oh, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, manufacturing. Right, this army is somewhat strong, but it's going to get reinforced soon with more stuff, and then we can see what we're going to do. How strong are the Osmans? Power is mighty. Not as powerful as us. Let's see if they would actually take peace. Right, fine. Um, peace? <sighs> fine. Mm. I would like peace with them. I don't really want to be at war with them. Uh, I think it's two parties right now. Now they've got Bavaria under control. Milan. And the Ottoman front. These are our two priorities now. And we need to get our... Uh, economy going. Let's chance it again with the new Prime Minister. Ooh! 
Same portrait, different stats. That's a bit better. What does that do? Plus one to diplomatic relations, plus one to town wealth. We'll make it the big bucks now, guys. And minus one percent to clamber to reform. I'll take it for now. We can't do anything about our government type. I'm not even going to try and do anything about our government type. I know as the Ottomans, I did an early revolution to get rid of an equally naff king. But we can't afford that right now, quite frankly. We could try taxing the nobility a bit, actually. The thing is, as an autocrat, as an absolute monarchy, the nobility are more contented, so they can actually get taxed a bit more. I just don't know what the effects are if we do that. Minus 10 happiness significantly, significantly reduces wealth growth for your regions. So it's short-term gain. Oops. I shouldn't be going down. Why did it go down? That shouldn't happen. It should go the other way. It should go up. Make it make sense. All right. So let's on that on that basis. Going no, going down brings it down as well. Well, how do you like that, folks? I've broken the laws of maths. <laughs> Right, there you are. And yeah, forget taxing the low classes more. That's just not, not that's out of the question right now. Uh, oh, we, we could do it for one turn. If it works. Um, no, that also reduces our income. I, I, I can't explain it. Yeah. They wouldn't rebel straight away. You get two turns and then they rebel. But we're not going to do it. Okay. What I really need is the allies to help wage war, but I don't think they're coming to help our rescue. Are we coming to our rescue anytime soon? Uh, is Prussia at war? Nope. Wait. Oh well. Let's see what happens. It's, we've done. I think we've done everything we can in this, in this turn. The Russians are in the area. Kutisov has come down. I would not I would not mind if they wanted to take most of this. I think the only one we do need to have for ourselves is Balkans. If they did take all the way down to here, I wouldn't complain too much. So, that being said, um, I don't see anything wrong with us actually taking the Balkans. What would be wrong with that? It might make us look a bit expansionist, but... It would really strengthen us here. Be a whole city. We could try liberating Greece. Ah, we'll see. All right. All right. Good. Doesn't look like they've gone towards Bavaria. Excellent, excellent, excellent news. Oh, what would be really cool if it is, is if Britain could uh, liberate the Low Countries for now. I know long term we need to take Flanders but if they could in the short term just liberate it that would be fan dabby doozy. Alright, good to of keeping Vienna safe. Thank you. Alright, someone's path is blocked. Mine to be exact. Alright, let's Let's send the spy to keep an eye on the I Italians. Right, yeah, they're starting to recruit now. Not surprised. We're going to make a move. We need to make it soon. So we need to set an army there. Reinforce it with an army here. Or even better. Um, oh, no. That'll have attrition, so... I was thinking about deploying in a tree zone to hide the army, so they might, you know, but I don't think they're going to. So let's just bring everybody down here. Okay, that's an area of attrition. All of it is an area of attrition. All right, fine. You win game. I will deploy here like a boring person. And I think between their combined... Oh, we've got two militia units we don't need. Uh, we'll send them back north. March! And if we can deliberate the land this early, that would be a huge victory for us. 
Because these are these units, even though they're the same roster as France, they won't have the morale strength that France has. And it'll be so, so good to take Milan for ourselves. As it, well, you know, liberate it so it is Italian is leading on our side rather than the other side. And they give us another nice buffer along here. And that would just leave Switzerland. Try and sway the balance of power in this area toward the Austrians again. Yep. But keep, in the meantime, yep, we're making armies here. At the moment, it's less about recruiting units and making do with what we have because we can't massively afford new units right now. In fact, we can't. We just frankly can't. So, yeah, if we combine these two units together, these two, yeah, that may actually make a very decent stack. Won't be much cannons. Two cannons is fine for now. And we could try, try taking the Balkans. Because the thing is, no one else wants the Balkans, apart from us. Yeah, well, the Ottomans do fine, but. Um, Like, I think these these regions are... I think the Russians would like these, and I'm fine with them having that for now. And... Instead... Yeah, because if they don't want the Balkans, if no one wants the Balkans, then they're not going to be upset and come after us for it. Um, I think they want Galicia for themselves. Could give that to the Russians, perhaps. But. And then, yeah, I would really like to take the Balkans for ourselves because it's it will really make this part of the front secure. And it's a good town. Two slots. Can't say further than that. Or is it just one? Maybe it's just one. Yeah, I'm seeing it wrong. Because what would be good is to take. Uh, this is really not going to happen. But if we did take everything of the Ottomans, liberate them, and then give everything back. But the problem wouldn't really go away because Russia would still very likely to take those regions, so. But in the meantime, anyway, they've got a long way now to go, the French, before they can get all the way around with these armies and reinforce Italy. So we might, might, might have just enough time to attack. I'm not saying it'll be the easiest party we ever had in but I still wouldn't miss it for the world. What I might do is combine our and stuff. Yeah. yeah, put all the put all the cannons in one army for sure. Maybe swap out some smaller units for better units. Yeah, my lord. Yeah, we'll see. Once once it's time. Oh, that would be so good if we could take that. That really would be good. Right, we've got enough money now for building. What should we build? Uh, good port. We could make a dry dock, but I can't deny I'm not massive about building a navy right now. I'm not really that bothered. So I feel like a trading port might be better. We'll see. Uh, let's, in the meantime, maybe build. I'm not going to build there. That's easy for them to raid. Actually, no, 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 no. We can try it. Let's build a mine. And is there anything else that we can build with our 500 monies? Don't look like it. Oh, here we can. Yeah, gunsmiths aren't great. I won't bother. I tend not to build on front line areas as well because it can be a waste of money if someone raids that town. Baden Wurttemberg looks very well undefended now. But I think we should still prioritize this is the bigger price. If we can take that and liberate it, and if that went really well, and if we could liberate Torino and give that to Italy, that would be a that would just be insanely good for us. Look how far back we'd have pushed the French. And then we can maybe think about going north and liberating Wurttemberg. But that is way, 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 way in the future. Okay, I'm taking things easy right now. I'm reviewing everything, making sure all our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted. Or in turn. 
because these games are on special very hard they're kind of like a house of cards really like even though everything can look secure suddenly one card comes out and everything falls apart so i'm not i'm not seeing anything here everything's going great right now believe me uh prussia is still very friendly we haven't expanded at all we've taken bavaria but We've liberated it, so we don't look expansionist. They're getting some new units. That's good. Yeah, if they can build themselves up an army, that'd be so, 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 so good. Right. Let's hit the intern button. Fingers, toes, eyes crossed. Advance milling about. I don't know how we can see all this, but I think some of our trade routes go through their regions. Okay, they did reinforce Baden-Württemberg. Fine. Uh, makes sense, and it kind of validates our decision to head south anyway. So, no problems there. Prussia is still not at war with France, as far as I can see. They will want to at some point because they they want to own Hanover, which is currently Frenchy owned. So, you know, it's in their interest to join the war at some point. And I'm playing very conservatively. I do not. I want to keep my allies on my side in this game, especially as Austria. Allies of everything. We do not want to be as a lone wolf or an island nation or anything like that. We want friends. We want allies. Especially at this stage. We just do not have the strength to stand alone. Anyway, mission issue. Punishing the collaborators. Capture the city of Stuttgart. Oh. Yeah, well. I want a million pounds. It's not going to happen. Right, description. Once proud members of the Holy Roman Empire, the states of Baden and Württemberg have now fallen under the sway of that insolent parvenu, Napoleon Bonaparte. Being confronted with superior forces is not an excuse for such dishonourable behaviour. Uh, if our blessed Duke Leopold had been equally treacherous, Austria would not be what it is today. Liberating these states from occupation and nepotism will not only prove our might, but might well spark an insurgence by those who still have the guts to fight. Nice idea, probably not going to happen for a long time. But I will consider it. If I consider it, I will put it in the out tray. Right, we've got our merchants at least, that's quite cool. And we've built a market in Croatia. Which is good. That gives us uh, money to tax. Slow wins, guys. Slow wins. Right, let's try and get some of these trade nodes for ourselves. Uh, more than likely, the Ottomans will come and try and, you know, pinch them off us. But, you know. All right, let's... Maybe, oh, this is a really good army. <laughs> Look how good this is. All right, so... What do we do, though? Do we still want to march south? Do I want to take the Bortons? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I, I truly don't know if that is a smart move at this point, or if it's going to make us look aggressive. Um, It would be really good to have. No doubt about that. Because then... Look how far away they'd be from our mainland. So they'd have to be over in Bucharest or they'd be all the way down here in Athens. So, it's an option. What we can do is liberate Greece. Greece is a nation that you can liberate. And then we could gift all of this to it. Um, make a really huge Greek nation. Right, Italy has reinforced itself, but not too much. And they've given themselves light infantry, which are horrible to fight. Yes, but... So I can not as strong and tanky and everything yeah, as uh, normal infantry. And they, they suffer in combat with cavalry, which we have quite a lot of. Um, oh, we could try killing Luigi Defendi. That's an appropriate name. Luigi Defendi. Uh, we could try killing their general, which would be really helpful. Yeah, my lord. But what I might try to do first before I use him. Oh. Try a little peek at Torino then. It's empty. <gasps> Italy's just got very interesting indeed. Uh, okay, so we've got... What I'm going to do, yeah, I think we'll... This is our best general. So I'd likely send that army up there. Reinforce it with anything, all the good stuff we have here, and use the remaining units as reinforcements. And have one army attack there with some reinforcements. Um, that will be mostly armed citizenry. Oh my goodness, this could be happening. Um, and then... As cool as it would be to own it, it would be so much less of a headache and much more pragmatic to liberate it. It would be really cool to have an Austrian presence in northern Italy. But in a way, we still will. And then if we can liberate Torino, give that back to the Italians, then we'd have cut off a port for them. 
um, a market town in Nice. And then we push back all the way to Marseille for at least a little while. And that give us some breathing room while we figure out what we're going to do with the Ottomans. And we will not look like aggressors at all during the entire process. So this is nice. But nothing's concrete yet. Let's have a stab at... Well, maybe I won't try and kill him, you know. I'll tell you why. Because if we kill him, they'll likely replace him with another armed citizen unit. And ultimately, the general is actually easier to kill, and the morale penalty from killing him would be greater than... Is it? Yeah, I'm going to keep him alive. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, I'm just going to... I've saved it to see if we can march up there and do our deployment stuff and everything fine. All the odds are saying yes. And my heart saying yes. Line infantry, but not that great line infantry like the French because the French have an innate morale penalty bonus to all their units. These guys don't. Uh, I'm not going to ask Bavaria to join the war. I want them to remain neutral. Oh, they're trading with France. Good. So that might mean France just doesn't want to invade them. That's totally and utterly okay with me. I would welcome better Bavarian-French relations. Meanwhile, we move this army up. A uh, teeny weeny bit of attrition there, but we'll ignore that. Uh, I've used this guy because he's our better general, so I think in my head that means better um, morale. And, yep, give all the infantry we can. All the big, juicy um, line infantry units we can. Um, oh, okay, let's... Can we, like, merge units? Can you do that in this game? I can't even remember. If I like highlight two, can they combine? You can. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So that unit will do that to them. And it, would do, it dilutes the experience a little bit, but I'm not complaining. That unit, this army's got three cavalry units. I think quite a bit of cavalry will be good in this army. Do they have cannons? Two six-pounders. All right, nothing terrible. Um, these are pretty full cavalry units, so I don't think I'll bother merging them. Uh, right, yeah, so infantry, 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 infantry. Yep, that goes over that. Now we've got four units to play around with here. I think... Oh, another cannon, yeah. Right, three units. Um, these are quite depleted. So, these infantry units and grenadiers. So, I won't move those over. Then we've got enough infantry. Ulans are amazing. So, I'll get that. Another general is quite good for a morale presence. That was quite helpful at one point. I'll bring a general. Bring another cavalry unit. That will give us so much mobility. Because they have Chasseurs de Cheval, which are nasty. And then we've got reinforcements of... Yeah, infantry. So no no cannons here, which is good. Because they'll take ages to reach to, reinf to reinforce. Look at the odds. That is looking very good indeed. Then we liberate that. And who knows? Maybe liberating all of Italy is on the cards at some point. I mean, I think a lot of them are allied with us right now. Right, the Papal States are al allied with the Kingdom of Italy, the swines, but they're very friendly with us. But no one's really going to miss them if we march south and try and take them out. And then we give that to Italy. So we have Milan, Torino, and Rome all under a protectorate. I think Naples is on our side. Yeah. Sicily too? Yeah. Sardinia is anyone's friend right now. We're not getting there. <laughs> not for a long time. So, that sounds like a plan to me. I think bringing Rome under our influence. We wouldn't own it, but if we had it under, you know, our protectorate, that would be very good indeed. we just got to then hope that they stay loyal to us and don't start getting uh, fancy ideas. Okay, I can't do the battle this episode because this episode is long enough as it is. But I think next time... I, what's also quite cool in this game is... Uh, you can see that Italian units, for example, have their own look. And Austrians have their own look. It's a very nice touch. So the Italians all have uh, quite fancy regalia. It's quite nice. Uh, let's get these guys back into Innsbruck. 
I think it would be good to give all of Northern Italy to our protectorate. It would be fun to give all of it, including Naples, but there's no point to claim war on allies because that just alienates us with Europe. So no need to do that. And once we've got that secured, we can even look at liberating Switzerland. And... We'll see. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think kind of medium term now. Taking Switzerland would be good while there's no winter, but I think there's always quite a lot of snow in this part of the map. And it is quite close to fire, because so they might be able to reinforce it. We've got a spy, though, so we could send a spy to have a look for us. And... Yeah. There's a way to take Corsica as well. Take his homeland. What a coup that would be. And then... Nah, it's probably not going to happen. Nah. Nah. Uh... That's fine. I mean, Torino is making quite a bit of money for them. Milan isn't making the money. It's just an ally. Uh, currently owned by Eugene. Uh, I think Napoleon had his one of his brothers on the throne of this kingdom here. Same with the Batavian Republic. They weren't particularly good administrators, from what I've read. It was, shall we say, nepotism. Yeah, this, I think this is the way. While this is un unoccupied, Rome won't be an easy fight either. But for some reason, they're quite loyal to uh, this upstart Italian nation. Um, they're friendly with all of Italy, but most of Europe doesn't like them, so that's fine with me. Um, Northern Italy, not very popular. Kind of popular with Russia, not really. And let's have a look. What would I should think of Northern Italy? Um, is that our relations? I can't see. Okay, we can't see their opinion. But. Right, uh, episode's drawing to a close. Let's see if we can decide how we're going to build this turn. Oh yeah, and I've got to move this army. Oh, I'll, I'll start moving toward the Balkans. Why not? And we can decide next turn if you want to commit. Because otherwise it's just standing there twiddling its thumbs. Uh, let's upgrade. I think we should keep upgrading economic buildings where we can. We have armies and we can't really recruit anymore. So I think economic buildings are the way to go. But what? Which ones? <laughs> it might be good to save up and get a better university. Uh, don't like it. I hate these decisions, man. They're so hard. Uh, I'll go for tax office there. Right, five hundred seventy-nine. I doubt it's going to get us anything anywhere, somewhere else. So keep that as it is for now. These trade ships. I don't think they'll last very long, but it might be nice to see if we can. Monopolize one trade node. Or at least, or two maybe. And we have our army in Transylvania to worry about. I'm hoping Russia actually focuses more on the Ottomans than the French right now. We're doing okay. We're not doing well against the French themselves, no way at all. Um, they're still very strong to, compared to us, but we are weakening them on the political stage by taking out their satellite states. And that's something. It's something. And then we've got the low countries over here we'll have to worry about at some point. Uh, but yeah, I think I shall end it there, guys. Um, but join me next time when we commence with the attack on northern Italy and try and liberate Italy back under Austrian influence. And we continue the war on the Ottoman border and see what the plan will be, uh, particularly in the Balkans. So don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.